The rainy season in Kuala Lumpur duly delivered right on time before the senior finals. Extraordinary conditions, but this is no ordinary GAA event. The Asian Gaelic Games, known as the AGG, are unique. Absolutely brilliant, Jerome, you know. Another one of the festivals that we hold around the world, but there's a, well, they're all unique in their own way. But a massive rain delay, a thunderstorm in the middle of it, and we still we just keep going, and then we crown our champions afterwards. So it's been a fabulous weekend, been a fabulous day. Um, the 25th anniversary, presenting the Derek Brady Memorial Cup as well. You just roll with the punches in terms of the weather here, and, and fair dues to the local organising committee and Pat Gorham in particular. Um, he was well cognizant of what might happen. They had their warning system in place, they stopped the game to make sure everybody was safe and once they're safe again, we kept on going. Singapore Gaelic Lions won the Senior Cups after two entertaining finals. The men beating Hanoi Viet Kelts and the ladies beating Saigon. But for the real Asian experience, how about Cambodia ladies carrying on where they left off at the World Games? You might remember this particular girl scoring and celebrating a point in Derry. The video went viral. So that was incredible uh, tournament I have been. So amazing, I was there. So the, for the players, really good. We all try work hard. So it's great experience to, to join. So see many different people. And for the goal, I'm not really good at it. Just for the point, I remember that, yes, we try hard for that one. I saw you at one point getting your photograph taken with the Cambodian girls who, of course, were the stars of the World Games as well. And they've come here and they've continued that on. And that link between those two competitions is important. It's very, very important. I mean, I, I suppose at one level, the, this would be a step towards the World Games. They sort of reversed it to a certain extent, went to the World Games first of all and came here. But it was wonderful to see them here and they were successful in winning a, a competition. And how is it different here in Kuala Lumpur to being in Derry? So, so much different. He is hot. Oh, that is really cool, cool for me. So it's kind of like, oh, so cool, yeah, so cool. There were lots of other new players to the AGG, like these three sisters from Egypt. I'm Frida, I'm 18. I'm Hannah, I'm 21. I'm Maya, I'm 16. And what is your club like, Orang Era, here in Malaysia and Kuala Lumpur? And I suppose you had to figure out even what the name means. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're not even sure. We were actually thinking about that the other day. Um, in terms of the club itself, I think they're just super inclusive and supportive. And it's nice that there's all sorts of ages, ethnicities, like diversity in it is really nice. And it feels like everyone is just welcome, no matter how, your ability, if you've played it before, anything, you can just join and have a good time. I think it's such a unique experience, like it's such a big tournament and like all these teams from just everywhere around Asia, it's really cool to see and just the environment is very good, loss or win, it's all just still always positive, it's really good. Yeah, it's a very welcoming community, you always feel like you belong. Also welcome this year were a group of refugees from the likes of Syria and Afghanistan who have been coached by the local club in a joint initiative with soccer. The lads are great crack. I think they um, initially were probably a little bit, what the hell is this? And um, you know, but uh, you know, they're over there in the tent. There's some of the boys, and they're just you know blending into the teams, no problem. Blend into the crack like they've, you know, all come from very tough backgrounds and gone through amazing journeys. But um, they don't carry that with them here. They just come in and join in the games and the fun. And like I say, some amazing good skill from the lads. So, and what does it say about the GEA out here that you would? get involved in that and help people like that? Well, like I say, I think the GA, wherever it is, it has that community and that grassroots element. So um, if you're going to be a true member of the GAA, I mean, it's not just about kicking a ball, it is about that community element of it. And um, I say across all the clubs we see here across Asia, I think that, you know, we're just one example, but the same sort of things we, we see going on across the region. And um, it's an important part of it to bring with us. Why is the 25th anniversary so important? What, what does that milestone say about the games out here? It just says that the growth, you know. Um, I suppose in the old days it was just mainly Irish people that are abroad. And when I took over from the legend George, George Trollin, like I said, look, Joe, I said, we, we need organic growth and we want Asians playing our game. We want a situation where all the Irish left Asia, we'd have people continue and you know, you look at the 25th games, you look at the diversity, inclusion and that's where we want to be, diverse, inclusive, no matter how bad you are or how good you are or where you're from or how poor or rich, Asian Gaelic Games is a home for everybody and the 25th Asian Gaelic Games, to get to this milestone, 
And I suppose the old cliche is, you know, was that we stand on the shoulders of giants, all the previous committee members, and you could see the, the fruits of, of the work, uh, Jerome. And that's one thing we did. Uh, I t I t again, I, I took over, and from Joe, I, said, I looked at the, our crest, and our crest was, was a Celtic cross, you know, and for me, it wasn't rep very representative of Asia. Um, so Joe went off and he'd he change the crest, you know, the lily blossoms and the lotus leaf. So, like, you know, we want to, to grow the game. There's a huge young population in Southeast Asia and Asia. The population here is massive. Look, the Irish are important too. But, you know, I, I've, when I've played around the world, you know, you go to some clubs and it's just all Irish lads. And look, you've, well, you've documented very well Cambodia, GA, like, you know, they're a success story. Some of the players coming from rubbish dumps and everything, NGOs. And I, I think, for me, that's the story I want to tell about Asia. Look, the GA's roots, they've gone global. You can put your finger on part of the map. That's our kind of what, what our mission as in county board is grow the game for, yes, for Irish, but for the Asians in the region.